<laughs> Hello there, welcome to Hoy's Garage. I have a visitor here from Norway. Norway, David. <laughs> David. <laughs> and when he came here, the engine was misfiring, running on three cylinders, I thought. Yeah. And then you said, Is something wrong with the car? <laughs> <laughs> I need some help. So he drove like that from Norway. That's almost four hours on three cylinders. Anyhow, he's here for a vacation and uh, I can't just stand there and listen to an engine that doesn't run as it should. So um, uh, we, I must say that we've already fixed the problem, but we will tell you how. That's a bit interesting, I think. So let's take a look here. Anyhow, the engine was misfiring and, well, it doesn't get fuel or the ignition is off somehow, of course. So the thir first thing we did was to disconnect the uh, uh, two injectors because, ah oh no, no, the first thing was that we did this. There are two ways to try to find out which cylinder that is misfiring. One is, of course, to disconnect uh, one injector at the time. And when uh, when you hear that there's no change in how the engine is running, then of course that's the cylinder. But we tried another way. We took a little uh, Wi-Fi transmitter, ABD2. What does it say? Yeah, ELM327 Wi-Fi interface, OBD2, blah, 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 and so on. And uh, David connected. Uh, now you downloaded a uh, program to your phone and uh, we ran the troubleshooting through the OBD port instead. Uh, and it said number four, number cylinder number four was misfiring. Now, uh, we didn't know which cylinder that is number four, nothing is cast or something like that, so we didn't really know what to do. Um, so a little bit of internet search gave us the uh, hypothesis that this is number four. So the numbering is one to the left, four to the right. <laughs> so we dis no, what we yeah, we swapped we swapped coils. This one has no uh, single coil, it has one coil on each cylinder. Yeah, I can come closer. It has one coil above each each spark plug, I should say. So we swapped two uh, here. And then uh, we made a new reading and the fault was moved from cylinder number three to number four. So um, that uh, in that way we were sure that it was this cylinder and that the error followed the uh, ignition coil. At first we thought that it could have been an injector but I measured with a multimeter over the pins on number one and number four just to check the resistance and they were both at 15 ohms. So, so they um, they were good from that perspective. And then, well, what to do? We <laughs> internet again and call the nearest scrapyard and uh, asking them, yeah, like this. Okay, hello guys. A Toyota 1.8 liter with a Denso ignition coil number 90080-19019. Can we get this? Mm, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Visible? Good. And yeah, we were very happy. So we went there on three cylinders and, <laughs> and, and got the injector and just plugged it in right away. And then, uh, yeah, you know this, of course, just to lift like this, it's quite easy. You can zoom in on it. Yeah, how to. Like that. Easy job. And then there are one knot there and one knot there. And we lift, we took off those two and those two knots, and then we could lift those two coils and this little cable channel. Then there were no problem. And then we plugged in this new coil, connected it, started the engine, and yes, <laughs> success. It was running on four cylinders again. So, easy job. Cost us, you, cost you 30 euros, <laughs> something? Yeah. 30 euros. So we are extremely happy. No error codes. Engine will uh, run all the way back to uh, Oslo, we think now. So yeah, that's it. Thanks. That's all from Hoist Garage today. <laughs> Little short thing on how to fix a Toyota 1.8 liter that it's that is misfiring. Cheers. Bye bye.